Hello everyone. <clears throat> so, this time I wanted to share my experience with this uh, Innovation Premium uh, mid-drive uh, motor for, for electrical bicycle. Uh, as you see, I have it already disassembled and uh, yeah, uh, repair will still be uh, I will, I will still have to do it, but uh, I uh, s stumbled on, on some hidden disassembly tricks that I wanted to share with, with the community so, so they wouldn't uh, make my mistakes. So, um, yeah, uh, for, for the assemble, assembly itself, uh, I have a 8 fun or, or uh, Bafang. Uh, 48 volts uh, mid drive, and this is a uh, second one, it's 36 volts. And uh, yeah, I would try to, uh, wanted to try an, another brand, uh, bought it as defect. Uh, it has a um, the motor turns off uh, when it, you start to pedal it, uh, it, it turns off. So I was uh, suspecting the uh, uh, how is it called? Uh, hail sensor, or, or how is it? Uh, he follows this uh, magnetical magnetic uh, uh, sensor sitting there in this part. I will show it uh, later on. Um, yeah. So uh, anyway, um, before I uh, I will make another video if uh, this uh, uh, repair will be successful, but. Few words about uh, this this uh, mid drive of innovation. Uh, as I found out in the internet, it's not their brand. They are buying from Trix or something. I will add some links to the uh, forums that I found uh, were linking to another manufacturer of, of this mid drive. Um, yeah, uh, what I didn't like, uh, I didn't like. Uh, it's difficult to disassemble it uh, because. Um, it's old glued in silicon, so they don't have uh, O-rings in, in these um, uh, in this groove, let's say. Uh, there will be a simple O-ring that will be uh, easy uh, disassembly, but now it all, all over the place it's only silicon. So when you unscrew the screws, uh, uh, every joint is still hold with the silicon. So you have to insert a screw. Of course, because of the housing is aluminium, you will have scratches and, and damages on, on it. Uh, let's say, I think I was inserting it in here and in here. And you can see some, some scratches. And if you would be very uh, brutal, so you could even damage it further and, and then the uh, water... Uh, uh, Afterwards, when you will uh, reapply silicon, uh, it wouldn't be as hermetical as, as it should. So, yeah, that's one point that I didn't like. Um, and second one, the biggest one, what I found, that's... Of course, yeah, you should... Maybe, maybe I was too uh, fast with this assembly, but let's see what I found. So in here, um, in Bafang, let's say, uh, all this control uh, unit is covered in silicon. In here, uh, it's easy to access, that's good. But, yeah, um, again, uh, here, all over the place, is this uh, no, no O-rings, only silicon. So when you want to disassemble it, you will uh, scratch and, and damage the housing of, of it. So, okay, this is, as you can see, I already unscrewed all the screws uh, and, and terminals. Terminals are screwed in with the uh, simple screws. That's okay, I think. I, I like this part. But then, um, yeah, the sensor that I'm suspecting is from this side and is connected, uh, I think, in here. Yeah, it was connected here. So uh, I could already access it and then uh, try to um, see it, but I still wanted to. Here, okay, let's see. I will show you this this sensor. Uh, come on. Okay, here on 
this side. Okay. On this side, this ring has magnets all over the place, as you can see. Yeah, and when it rotates, it uh, I think yeah, it's hole sensor. Uh, hole sensor picks, uh, sees these rotations, and uh, here this hole sensor should be here. And it sees the rotation, and then uh, the drive continues to power on the the, the mid drive. So uh, that's one way of, of knowing that it's, it's rotating, and and you can uh, continue with the with the power. So yeah, as as I said, I was suspecting this uh, this drive, uh, this this uh, sensor. And, but then curiosity got me and I wanted to see maybe there is some damage or, or burn component on this control unit. So uh, what I done, I looked it up more or less. Uh, it's um, uh, difficult to see, but here you can see it's two level bo boards. So they are interconnected between each other. And the lower one is, I think, the power uh, board, and it's uh, um, screwed in uh, to the housing uh, with thermal paste to get the heat off uh, of it. It's quite elegant solution. I'm not sure why it's written 48 volts, as this mid drive is 36 volts, but okay. Yeah, then um, uh, you can see that some. Uh, Terminal uh, points are going through uh, the hole into the other other board. The other ones uh, they don't look to go through. Okay, this one goes through, but this one doesn't go through. This one doesn't go through, and this one, as it seems, doesn't go through. So I took a plastic uh, lever and then tried to get it off. This part gave quite easily. This part was holding. Yeah, some force too much, and it came off. Problem is that, as you can see, this one terminal or pole or how do you want to call it, it's soldered in. It should be here, and if you know it, it's fairly easy to take pliers and unscrew it. Yeah, sadly, I didn't know this, and that's why I ripped it off. So this part has to be here, and yeah, then this part of the board, and these pins goes into the lower one, and then it just screws in on top. Yeah, so that's my findings on, on disassembling of, of this board. And if you're disassembling this kind of board, then yeah, just unscrew this screw and it will come off much easier and without damaging your board. So, uh, I think that's it, what I wanted to share in this video. I hope you will find it useful and yeah. Thanks and bye.